Hey, today I will show you how to create a free virtual event using Google Hangout. This is ideal if your virtual event requires participation, like a class, a coaching session. Basically, we'll be setting up a virtual call that your participants can join after they have purchased the ticket for it. Google Hangouts is a free tool and your participants don't have to register to join, and it doesn't take too long to set up a virtual event. So first, go to the Google Calendar and then register or log in with your Gmail account. Now you can start setting up a scheduled virtual event. Select a date and click on more options here. Add a name, date, and time for your event. Now select this option here, add conferencing. This will add a live link to your virtual event. If you're going to be adding people to the call later, you can choose whether they should be notified about your event. This will just send them an email reminder about your online session. Click save. Now you have created an event. To grab a link for your virtual event, simply click on the event and copy the link to this video. Now that you have a link, you can start creating an event on Billetto to sell tickets or collect donations for your virtual event. We're going to start by logging into Billetto and you don't have to use the same credentials as you used on uh, Google Hangouts, but it probably would be handy. Select create event. You'll be prompted to select a plan. Select the plan that matches your needs best. In order to send the link to the stream later, I'll select the advanced plan. This will allow me to include the link in the email confirmation that the ticket buyers receive. Start creating an event. Name your event. I'll call this Lunchtime Yoga with Team Billetto. It starts on March 21st, that's 11.30 a.m. and finishes at 12. It's an online event, so I'll just change the location to manual here and say online in the location fields. We're working on a new feature, so you can simply select an online event in the future. Write a short description for your class event in here. Choose event type and category. You can also add up to three tags to describe your event and increase visibility in search. Now, to the part with the tickets. You can create all kinds of tickets on Billetto. You can also add a donation. This ticket will allow your attendees to choose how much they would like to pay for the ticket and access to your event. I will add both paid and donation type tickets just to show you the difference on a live page. If you do want to have a limited amount of people who have access to your class or your event, you can also limit the total amount of tickets available here. There's also an option to add a hidden ticket type that can only be unlocked with a code. You can find out more information about it on Billetto if you need it. Next, we'll upload an image for an event. I'll just pick a generic image here from Unsplash, for example. If you have your own image, simply upload it here. You can choose to save the draft or publish the event to make it live. I'll make this event hidden right now, as it's an example event. You can also do this if you only want to share this event with a small number of people. Now that I have published an event, I'll simply go to Manage section and select Customization and Design here. Next, I'll go to Tickets and Orders. You see the first section here called Custom Text in Order Confirmation Email. This is the message that the attendees will see when they have received a confirmation email with their ticket. So, I'll take the Google Hangout link I have copied earlier and paste it here and just write some more text about it. Now, this link will be shared with the people purchasing tickets or making a donation. Let me show you how it works. Here I have created an additional free ticket to demonstrate. I have now purchased a ticket and I can see the description here in the ticket email. You can also invite people to your virtual event by downloading a guest list on Billetto. This will provide you with your ticket purchasers' emails. You can then add them to your virtual event and they will receive notifications from Google Calendar to join the event on time. To do this, I simply go to Overview, Guest Lists and Reports, and download an email list here. You can then simply copy the email list and add it to the virtual event. On the day of the event, you simply join the Hangout call from your calendar. You can ask the participants to submit messages that you can reply to later or during the call, and you can also ask them to talk during the call if they have feedback. You can also share your screen if there's something that you would like them to see from your computer.